It's just a fast paced city. So if you're not going at the same pace of the city, you might be left behind and have to be on top of your game and you have to be hustling if you really want a big break. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm the business citizen of Miami. I'm trying to say the name right. We're at the Maurice Fair Park, right by the FTX Arena. I choose to come every morning, walk Biggie, this is Biggie Smalls, and I just like to come de-stress, have a morning walk, start my day right. This is my Miami. I've always adored Miami. I love the ocean, I love the vibes. Miami is so close to Venezuela. I've always felt very connected here. I have a lot of friends and family here from Venezuela, but you also have the Cuban culture here. Then you also have the Brazilian culture here and you have the European culture here. And of course, mixing with the local Miami people. Miami was a city I really connected with since I was a young girl. I've always wanted and dreamt about living here. I've always been attracted to the entertainment industry. I own a music marketing agency and Miami is truly a music and entertainment hub. It's a Latin music entertainment hub as well. You're always gonna find something for you in Miami. Miami right now is really, really the place to be at for the music industry and again, other industries. Artists are always here, they come to the studio all the time, they're here on concerts, they're here doing press, and it's so alive that it's just a great place to be at right now. You feel you're in the top of the world, in the center of everything that's happening right now. I think Miami is just like that, it's so diverse that there's something for everyone. We're at Neon 16 right now. Neon 16 is one of our main clients at Arrow Media. We're here and it's 11 a.m. and there's no one here. <laughs> We're on Miami time zone. Here's where I usually work at. Neon has their team meetings here. We bring artists, we listen to new music here. The cool thing is that I come here and I work at a different space every time I'm here. It's a very collaborative environment because we're all creatives here. These are also a bunch of new plagues <laughs> that Tiny got. Tiny is the current number one Latin producer in the world. This is Biggie's little water <laughs> dish. That's Eliane, she works at Entertain Studios. She's our host, producer. Hola. Bien, ¿y tú? So today we're gonna record some things with Eliane as well. These are the Entertain Studios. And we also have a digital network where we prepare all the content in-house for Entertain's YouTube and social channels with Eliane. I've really been blessed to work with a lot of big artists that are now in the global charts and in the global landscape. If you're gonna come here and work in Miami, you have to be a nice person, you have to be open, you have to be aware of the different cultures in the city, you have to be open to someone speaking a different language because there's just so much diversity in the city and also try and explore the city and not the regular places that everyone comes to. So open yourself up to different adventures and perspectives of Miami. Just last week, I got my green card, so it's been an eight year journey, more, 10 year journey here in the United States and I couldn't be happier right now. I think I found myself, I found my passion, I found my business. I finally could say I'm a resident and that it is possible. You just have to keep going until it happens. The common cliche in Miami is that it's full of sugar babies and sugar daddies, but I'm my own sugar daddy. We're walking towards Mandolin Agent Bistro, a go-to place in Miami.
This is the Neon 16 studio where all the global hits are made. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> this is Dylan. He signed to Neon 16, so he's been working on this studio. Thanks for hanging out with me and seeing my version of Miami.